So, ChatGPT is disabled for users in Italy. Temporary ban ChatGPT. Privacy leak of information. OpenAI may lose 4% of the revenue. It is considered dangerous. So just yesterday, Italian government ordered to ban, to temporarily ban ChatGPT. The reasons are, first, not a good data protection, some privacy violation concerns, and absence of age restrictions for the users to use ChatGPT. If you think about it, the reasons are pretty fine because first of all, when you enter Instagram, when you enter Twitter, when you enter TikTok, you need to tell your age. It's just to protect the kids from, from fraud, from scam, from many things, bad things that are out there and they can have a privilege of not seeing yet. So Italy, Italian Garante, is also concerned about the privacy protection of the private data of the users. Just a couple of days, weeks ago, OpenAI had a general, uh, like a major leak of information. It's true that the technology of artificial intelligence and what OpenAI is offering now with the ChatGPT never seen the market. They are new. It's not an online app um, that has a lot of regulations that needs to be compliant with if you want to launch it to Apple Store or Google, Google Market. It's completely new and no one has regulations. No government made regulations, no companies made regulations and it's just, it's just new. Everyone was expecting that uh, something will come. Right now, in Silicon Valley, there is a whole movement of tops in the industry of technology and innovation that are asking to pause the artificial intelligence activity and artificial intelligence development because it is considered dangerous. That's pretty interesting that Elon Musk himself signed it because several companies he has are also running on artificial intelligence. Also, Elon Musk was the, one of the founders of the OpenAI. Not anymore. Who knows what happened? But my point is that he might realize the dangers of the technology that we do not realize or that we don't, we don't have enough information to comprehend and understand. If OpenAI doesn't comply with the regulations, this temporary ban will become permanent and therefore OpenAI may lose 4% of the revenue, which is a lot for a non-profit company especially. <laughs> anyway, that's an exciting time to be alive and let's just keep track on what's going on. <laughs>